It's a new statewide push to improve elevator safety. It comes on the heels of a deadly accident at Tonawanda Coke last month and similar cases right across the area. On Tuesday, a repairman was killed in an elevator accident at a high rise in New Jersey. And in December, a college student fell to his death while apparently attempting to take photos at a hotel in Midtown Manhattan. And last October, a teen fell to his death down an elevator shaft at the abandoned Staten Island Hospital. Again, Western New York is also also on that list of recent incidents, a 60-year-old worker was killed while greasing the gears of an elevator at Tonawanda Coke. The situation was somebody who had not been trained. We want a mandate in this state. People that work on, install, and service elevators go through the proper training. Under this bill, an elevator worker would be required to have four years of work experience and training and then take a written exam before they could get their license. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is digging even deeper into this story for you tonight. Well, Ashley, you know, elevators are one of those things that we tend to take for granted until they break down. That's when you need a good repairman, and he becomes critical. But right now, the city of Buffalo is going through a redevelopment boom, and a lot of old elevators are seeing increased use, and that comes with the challenge of keeping keeping them working. We have a, an elevator that was troublesome and was getting older and we we're having trouble keeping it running. We we're having trouble with parts. The Tri-Main Center in Buffalo is a good example. It has been redeveloped and is now filling with tenants, but the elevators are nearly a hundred years old and though they have been updated, the main passenger elevator broke and has been out of service for the last few weeks. We ordered all new controls and we're in the process of, of updating and modernizing that elevator as we speak. For developers, the decision to keep an old elevator or go with something new can be complicated. In the scheme of it, it's a big part of the cost of modernizing elevators and uh, putting in, meeting today's codes and standards on it. Try Maine is not alone. There are 2,500 elevators in Buffalo and many are quite old. Well, we, we have elevators that date back to early 1900s. Bison Elevator Service installed the elevators for the New Delaware North Building and the UB Medical School. But the company also services old systems like this one at the Ellicott Square Building. Some of these companies are gone. So, um, Technical assistance is, is very, very, very minor. Not only is the job dangerous because of hazards in the shaft and other moving elevators, it is also complex because workers need to know how to service all types of systems. Technology is always changing and we have to keep up with it. Bison employees have to complete an apprenticeship and go through annual training with the local elevator constructors union. They also get rotated through various jobs. You got to get your hands dirty. That's, that's, how you figure, that's how you figure some of the stuff out. But the company owner says he has seen the results of improperly trained repairmen on other jobs. There are no question there are people out there working on elevators that don't belong working on elevators. Bison says it is so important to have a qualified repairman work on your elevator. But you might be wondering, is an old elevator a bad elevator? Well, that's not necessarily true. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll find out how the city of Buffalo is making sure that the elevators you ride on are safe. Live in downtown Buffalo, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News.